Hi everyone. So I am going to show how you can split your screen. So use one screen, see all your students, and see what you're presenting and what your students are seeing that you are presenting all at the same time with just one screen and without any extensions. So first thing, if you take a look at this meet, I have two people in um, and we have, if we look up at the number, there are 19 people in. So if we're looking here, I have myself showing, um, and then this top row, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, they're all there. Um, if you don't see yourself, you have this little picture of yourself in the upper right corner. Um, click the little grid icon, and that'll either make you show up or not. So at this point, we see all 19 people that are in the meet. The next thing that we want to do if we don't see that is to check our layout. So we click more options in the bottom right corner and we choose change layout. From here, we're going to choose the tiled view and we can just do up to 49 and this will save for you for your next Google Meet. So you don't have to change that every time that you come in. So from there, you should be able to see everybody. If you do not, the next thing that you can do is zoom in or out. So you can click the three dots in the upper right corner of your Chrome browser and choose to zoom in or zoom out on your screen. For all of this to work, around 67% is what's gonna work best for you. Now, I am ready to present my screen. So I want to split my screen in half. Right now, I'm on a Windows machine, so I can do Windows and arrow over. If you're on a Mac, you can hold your cursor over the green full screen button in the upper left corner, click and hold, and then you'll be able to select to move your window to the left or the right. Now I'm gonna open up a new tab to go to Meet again. So this is a little different than what you've probably done before, and I'm gonna move my meet over to the other side of my screen. Now I'm gonna to go to the same meeting. So you'll access the same meeting however you do. If you have a lookup link or a nickname, however you join, do the same thing in this other window. So I'm gonna click join or start, and I'm gonna use my nickname. And from here, you're not going to click the Join Now button like you typically do. What you're going to select is just Present. So I'm going to click Present, and this screen will pop up. Here I can choose a Chrome tab. I can choose my entire screen, which you probably don't want to do if you're splitting your screen like this, or an individual application window. So for this, I'm going to choose just a Chrome tab, but I don't have the tab up quite yet. So I'm going to open up a new tab, and I'm going to go to Schoology. Now I have the window up that I am ready to share with my students. And so I'm going to go back to the Meet. I'm going to click Present Now, and I'm going to choose just that tab. Now notice in this Meet, I don't have access to a camera or a video that will eliminate any feedback that you might be getting if you were to just join the Meet a second time on the same computer. So I'm gonna choose that Schoology tab and click Share. And now you'll see on the left side of my screen, I can see exactly what my students see. I can see all of my students at the bottom. And if I want, I can open up the chat. Now, one thing I wanna point out is we now see that there are 20 people in this meet. That's because it counts the presenting screen as another person. So this is actually another person counting. Below that, I have myself plus the 18 students. You can play around with the zooming in and out if you want to, um, to make your students as big as they can be. Um, there will be a point where you don't see everyone. So here I just see 15 now. Um, so I need to go less than 90%, but at 80, I can see all of them. So depending on how many students you have, you can play around with that Zoom, but now you're able to present your screen, see exactly what you're presenting, see what your students see, see all of your students, and see the chat. Please let me know if you have any questions about this process. I'm more than happy to help.